Hey everybody, it's Kira. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the booktube about me tag. Um, I will leave the creator's video in the description below, of course, and let's just get into the questions. Number one is, what do you study or what is your job? So right now, I have finally just finished my first semester of college. Hallelujah. I'm technically an undeclared major. I'm thinking about something English related. I'd like to be a librarian, and so you have to get a master's degree to do that, and your undergrad can be in pretty much anything. So I'm considering English literature with a minor in film and cinema studies, but that's kind of iffy right now. Not entirely sure yet. So Number two is, what is your favorite social media channel? Now this, I don't really know. I really, really love Vlogbrothers, um, John and Hank Green. They are I, some of the only like mainstream YouTubers that I watch. Um, otherwise, I just watch other booktube videos, so my favorite booktuber is definitely Pierre Ford. Um, she's just so hilarious and totally real about how she feels about books, and it's just fun to watch her. Well, I'm wearing a Do Perfect shirt, I mean. I like Do Perfect. Um, they do trick shots. They're, I like watching them with my family though. Um, I mean they're kind of okay like when I watch it by myself but it's way more fun to see my siblings reactions to stuff and so I enjoy that more. I also really like watching people who make music so Peter Hollins comes to mind. I like acapella music so it's pretty cool when I find people who do that. Yeah, I don't really have like one specific favorite, it just depends on what I'm feeling at the moment. So I completely forgot about this YouTuber, but I also really like Jordan Page Suddeth, who does daily vlogs and she makes like cool YouTube videos. So she has a Harry Potter one, she's making a Christmas one right now. She has one that's called Walk a Moment, which is kind of about different prejudices that people have at school and stuff. And she is the writer and creator and actor in this web series called Rings, which I really, really enjoy. So I also enjoy watching, like, fan films of different things that I enjoy, like Harry Potter or Hunger Games or Star Wars or stuff like that. Number three, if you had another channel, what would it be about? Honestly, I don't know. Probably cheerleading. Not that I'm really involved in it right now, but it probably... If I moved back home somehow, I'd probably make videos about my high school team or just talking about cheerleading and what it actually is in high school cheerleading. Yeah, I don't know what else I would have a channel about. That's pretty much the only thing that is in my life is cheerleading. Or I'd probably actually, just kidding, I'd make one about TV shows and movies because I love watching TV shows and movies. Number four, do you play any instruments? No, I do not. I think it'd be cool to learn how to play. Um, I do sing a tiny bit, but not very well, and I, um, I sing in choir all through high school. I found that quite enjoyable, but it was, for me, choir was a lot more about the friends that I made, I don't know, and just singing as a choir together than it was ever, like, just me per personally singing. Number five, what other hobbies do you have other than reading? Um, watching movies and TV shows, hanging out with friends. I don't really have a lot of hobbies, honestly. Um, at this point in my life, it's pretty much just reading, watching TV shows, movies, and homework. Because I'm not anymore, because I'm on break! Woohoo! Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't have that many other hobbies. And now, one of my favorite questions. Number six, favorite TV shows. So, I really liked Lost. Lost was a TV show on ABC. It's done airing. It had six seasons. And it's about this plane crash on a deserted island and everything that happens after that. There's not, it's not quite as deserted as you might think. There's some strange things that happen about it happen on this island. I really like the DC TV shows of Flash and Arrow. Those are about, well, Arrow is about the Green Arrow, who's also Oliver Queen, and he comes to this, comes back home and um, is trying to help save his city by being this vigilante of the Green Arrow. And then Flash is about this guy named Barry Allen, who gets powers, actually, and he becomes, like, the fastest man alive. Both of those shows are so amazing, I love them so much, although Arrow this season is kind of like, eh, not my favorite, but Flash is amazing this season. I also really love The 100, um, this is a show about, which I've talked about it before on my channel because I read the books that also 
have to do with The 100, except those are completely different from the TV show. The 100 is basically this time where there was a huge nuclear apocalypse and so like everybody went and lived in space and so they've been in space for like 100 years and now they're sending kids down to the ground to see if the ground is survivable and it is but there are other things awaiting them there and I need a trailer for, at least for the next season because if you've if you're caught up on the hundred you know the huge cliffhanger that it left off on and it's insane and I don't know what we're gonna do but it's yeah I, I need the trailer for that one. The show I really like is Timeless, which you might have heard of because it actually got cancelled after its first season by NBC and then it, there was such a fan outcry and like renew Timeless, save Timeless, that it actually ended up being renewed three days later, which like never happens. Um, so that one is about um, a time, is about time travel as you might guess. Basically this guy named Flynn goes and steals a time machine and so then they bring, this company brings in the second team that they've created of a historian, a soldier, and a pilot to go and find Flynn and take, figure out his plan and stop him from destroying everything and it is so good. I love the characters in that show so much. I'm so excited to get more. They will have 10 more episodes this spring slash summer. Don't really know when it's coming out yet, but they're filming it right now and it's so exciting. And then there are two shows that have premiered this year that I really am enjoying so far. One of them is The Brave, which is also on NBC, and that one is about this special forces team in the US military and they kind of like don't exist and so they go into situations, take care of them, and then get out without anybody knowing that they were there. And there was a huge cliffhanger for the mid-season finale, which I'm so like nervous and excited at the same time to see how that's going to be resolved. And I love the characters in that one too. And they do a really good job of, they have this team and there is a girl on the team, but none of them are romantically involved at all. But there is such a protective bond between the two, between like, not the two of them, between the whole team that it's so amazing. And it's just like this good friendship going through really terrible situations but sticking together bond and I love it so much and I just love the fact that it's not romantic at all. It doesn't have to be romantic, it's not, it's just amazing. And then the other one is The Gifted which is on Fox and that one has to do with like the X-Men universe um, and so it's about this family who finds out that the, their two kids um, are mutants and kind of, they have to go on the run from this company thing called Sentinel Services, which the dad is, used to work for. So it's really good. I really love the family bond in that one. The siblings are so, I feel like realistic, maybe a little bit like idealistic in the fact that like they work so well together, but they also like squabble a lot and are really cool and then the mom and the dad like are working their butts off to get keep the kids safe and I just love the family bond that is in this show. And I cannot believe I forgot to talk about this show but Stranger Things is amazing. I love Stranger Things so much. I just finished watching season two with one of my friends actually and he really enjoyed it and then I was able to watch it with my brother. I got him into it and it was really fun and just the characters are so amazing and I love watching them develop. I cannot wait for whatever is going to happen in season three. Sorry about that like long rant but I love watching TV shows and those are just some of my favorites. Alright back to books. So number seven is what got you into reading. And honestly, I don't have a specific thing that got me into reading. Um, my mom was a stay-at-home mom for, well, until my little sister went to kindergarten. And so she would always bring us to the library. She would read us books at home. So I just kind of grew up surrounded by books. And so I just kind of developed a love of reading. I'm really lucky in the fact that all of my siblings love reading as well. Books are something that I get to share with my family in. And... So there wasn't anything that necessarily like, got me started into reading, it was just kind of growing up loving reading and just living in that. Number eight, what is your favorite and least favorite genre? So my least favorite genre is definitely horror. I do not do scary books whatsoever. I cannot do that. I have a friend who really likes them, but I'm like, okay, you can like your horror, but I just don't understand that at all. Um, and my favorite genre, probably fantasy. I love going into new worlds, 
I also really like historical fiction, so I feel like historical fiction is like a close second to fantasy, but I just love escaping to other worlds and seeing these places that authors have created and just made amazing and I, yeah, those are my favorite. Number nine, what books define your childhood? Oh boy. Um, Chronicles of Narnia, which I've talked about so many times, but definitely Chronicles of Narnia. I feel like the Olivia books, I'm forgetting who they're by right now, but I really, really enjoyed those when I was growing up, when I was little, and then like reading them to my siblings when they were little. Um, the Magic Treehouse books, because those were some of the first, like, Magic Treehouse and American Girl. Those were some of the first, like, chapter books that I read that I really fell in love with and helped kind of jumpstart my love of reading. Yeah, I think those are the main ones for that question. And number 10, tell us an interesting fact about you. So I have one that is actually about, kind of about my sister. So I was the only girl for quite a while. I have two younger brothers and I remember always wanting a younger sister but kind of knowing that it wasn't going to happen. And then my mom got pregnant with my younger sister and she was due in May. Like, I think it was late May. And I was like, wouldn't it be cool if she was born on my birthday? My parents were like, I mean, yeah, it'd be cool, but she's not due till late May. Like, it's, you know, probably not going to happen. But she ended up coming six weeks early to be born on my 10th birthday. So I share a birthday with my younger sister, who is 10 years younger than me, which is just super fun. I love it because we're far enough apart that we can have, like, we always had separate parties and separate cakes and everything. We never had to share it like twins do. of my friends and she has her friends and that's totally okay. But it's just something fun that bonds me to my little sister and I love sharing a birthday with her. So that is it for this video. I was kind of rambling in places, but that's what happens when you get me talking about my favorite shows. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!